That's it, everyone. We're at the end of the road. Let's do this. It's me, 47, Diana. What are you doing here? Easy. I had to sneak in. The place is surrounded by hundreds of SWAT members right now. They're getting ready to move in. I had to warn you, there's still time for you to escape. I've got a plan. I don't buy it. You've got nothing to gain here. The smart play would have been getting out of the country. Out of the country? We're dealing with a franchise here, 47. Borders don't stop them. You're my last chance. You know my terms. Cash on the nail. Don't you get it? You have to fight them. But if you try to do it alone, you're a dead man. Death is always a risk. Read carefully, 47. It's a bold plan. Where is this wheelchair guy right now? Ah! Ah! Bitch! Ah! Sorry, 47, but this is the only way. You would have fought the border right then and you would have lost. You'll buy me one more night. We've got four minutes before he's called, people. Let's move. I've never actually killed a man before. It was surprisingly pleasant. Very nicely done, Diana. You've earned my trust. Welcome to the franchise. I'm sure we'll find an appropriate role for you in the organization. A woman like yourself is entitled to a very special role, indeed. story since 9-11. How can you expect me to believe it? I don't expect you to believe anything but your eyes. This videotape confirms his presence in the White House moments before the assassination. I'll be damned. If cloning isn't outlawed, we'll all be damned. Who actually killed him? That's the most delicious irony of all. He stumbled coming over the compound wall, severed his spinal cord on the rocks. The world's most nefarious assassin died of clumsiness. How'd you confirm his identity? His DNA includes signature sequences from the five men of the Ortmeier project. It's biologically impossible for anyone but the Ortmeier clone to have that DNA. You're giving me all this as an exclusive. Why me? We admire your objectivity, Rick. Thank you. Don't mention it. We need to get to the chapel. 47's ashes are going to take pride of place on my mantle. Chaplain! Chaplain! And that's it. It's the end of the game. I'd like to thank everyone who stuck it out for this long. And, uh... You know, actually, fuck this. We ain't going out like that. Just want to be careful not to get shot wounds. We want to take everybody the hell out. This is the hidden ending, the true ending of the game. For anyone who... Ah, shit! 
for anyone who didn't catch on, Diana of course used the serum, and as we've seen earlier on in the game, the, uh, the serum can be brought back, the death serum, and that's what she did, she had it on her lipstick, and she brought us the hell back, to double crossover. Come on, come to me. <laughs> now I'm going to be using this MP7 on a certain somebody. Because uh, we've got some business to take care of. Make sure we've got plenty of ammo. I want you to just look at this beautiful church. Uh, and I believe it's actually uh, based off of a real place in Europe. I forget the country, but this is a real place. But uh, forget that because... We'll come back to that in a minute. Right now I need to take care of someone. And you can just see him. Come here, Two-Face. You've caused me a lot of fucking problems, you have. Without now, we're going to take care of his news reporter. Stay, stay there. Your secret's safe with me. Secret's safe with me. No fucking witnesses. That's why we've got to kill everyone. Because we can have no witnesses whatsoever. And that's McLean taken care of. Two-faced little fucking bitch. And now, well, there's a priest we need to take care of. But I'm going to give you a little tour of this uh, beautiful, beautiful final mission. Very peaceful, which contrasts pretty nicely with the chaos. And then we're going to find a special tool to take care of this priest because, um, I don't know. Just that sick, sick guy, in it. But again, really lovely map, and uh, I'll give you a little bit of a tour, because why not? Then ain't like that priest going to do anything. So again, this place is based off of a real building in, uh, it'll come to me in a bit, in, I want to say Rome. Yeah, I believe it's a real church in Rome, but uh, it's beautiful nonetheless, and again, very peaceful. As you see right here, we have um, a selection of tools we can use, but of course, not the screwdriver I want to take, not the hammer, the hedge cutters. That's pretty unique, uh, and that's what we're going to use on the priest, but again, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, of a look around this church first. But ultimately, uh, this will conclude the, the Hitman Let's Play. So of course, as I always do, I'm going to pack this for the bonus clips, I always pack the final mission uh, you know for the bonus content you know random clips whatever and of course a kill montage but that's it for hitman blood money what hitman video will it, uh, hitman series will i do next probably codename 47 i'm thinking but i'm probably going to leave it a few months before i do that uh, just because i don't want to just do hitman on my channel i'm trying to vary it and uh, i'd like to say thank you for 1000 subscribers actually 1050 now i gained 50 subscribers today and yesterday i finally hit 1k so thank you everybody for that and seriously thank you everybody who stuck it out for this hitman series as long as i've got a hobby which is making these videos i'm staying out of trouble you're keeping you're keeping a brother off the streets so is that <laughs> but seriously man uh you know, I started off by saying this is not my favourite Hitman game, and I stand by that. It's definitely not my favourite Hitman game, but I definitely had a lot of fun doing this series. That's for sure. Uh, do I still think it's overrated? Yes. Is it too scripted? Yes. And this is definitely, um, you could say, a precursor for Absolution. But I'm not going to get into that, because we're about to end this right now. We're about to take care of this priest. I gave you a look around this building, and uh, it's time... It's time. Can leave no witnesses behind. We're Agent 47. 
I'm Waza. Let's do this. Yes, Your Majesty. Almost all of our resources are online again. No, I'm afraid he's not, Your Majesty. He seems to have completely lost track of time. Check your briefcase? No, I'll keep it. I've heard interesting things about your establishment. I'd like to see what you have to offer, preferably at the back. Ah, of course, sir. Right this way. And that's that, probably one of the most famous, maybe the most recognisable mission in the entire Hitman series. Very, very famous, but if anybody didn't know, it might have been a bit of a surprise for you, if it's anyone's first time watching. But yeah, definitely the most polished Hitman game, we could say that. And I do really enjoy it every time. Cheers, everybody! I haven't slept in...